Majority of the issue with cancer treatment today is linked to the side effect associated with injecting uh, cancer drugs into the bloodstream. If we can design particles that essentially act as robots once we inject them, they are intelligent enough to go to, based on our design, to the location that we want them to and only go there, uh, we now have uh, much great opportunity to use many of the therapies that we uh, frankly cannot use right now because of toxicity, localize it, uh, get full impact while uh, diminishing uh, side effects in other locations. That is my ultimate goal, that we can use some of our systems to begin to predict, customize uh, design of drug delivery system to specific location in the body associated with specific disease um, in the body. Okay. All these big things here, endothelial cells, and then these little white circles here are drug carriers that have stuck to the wall. So the lab is interested in asking the question, how do drug carrier systems navigate the bloodstream? Since many of them are designed to bind to the blood vessel wall, they need to do that to get out of the bloodstream, to go into the tissue space where you want to deliver drugs. So for example, in atherosclerosis, you would want to design a drug carrier or imaging system to bind the blood vessel walls in, in arteries whether you want to image the arterial wall or you want to deliver a drug inside the plaque, one way or the other you need to contact the blood vessel wall. We find that red blood cells, which make up about 99% 90, 90 of uh, cells in the blood, are very critical into how particles and other cells distribute in a blood vessel. A spherical particles that are less than one micrometer in diameter seem to be trapped within the center of blood flow which is a problem because that means the majority of them will not contact the blood vessel wall. This is particularly important in large vessels, and so when we talk about cardiovascular disease, atherosclerosis, then this, this might actually be problematic in the sense that nanoparticles that we like to use uh, for many of the reasons, including that they're very small, they can easily go throughout the bloodstream, actually are not able to come down from the red cell core for vascular targeting. The other key discoveries that we're making is how shape might be able to play a role. So again, nanospheres may not come down, but what if we have nano rods, okay, or nano disc? Do they fare better? In some instances, the answer is yes. When you have a rod shape, you might actually do better coming out uh, of the bloodstream to the wall than a sphere. So we're essentially integrating all the physical molecular characteristics of drug delivery system that allows them to perform the job that we're designing them to do. The heart beats. It actually beats quite, quite violently, as we've been able to see through uh, surgeries. This beating creates vibration inside the chest cavity, and so we're able to take...